Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have some interesting topics to cover, as Eminem talked about Dre's reaction to Revival and also made an interesting revelation on why it was hurt by the extremely negative reception it received. And today we actually have proof, a couple of examples that show Eminem is actually right on the money with his take on the album's reception. Today we also have more from 50 Cent and it looks like we may have another name to add to the list of people who owe 50 Cent and he's already reacted as expected. He wants his money by Monday, more on this in a bit. So first of all, check this out for the week of September 15th. The top rap slash hip hop albums of the week shows Nicki Minaj remain at number one, Curtain Call 2 maintain its position at number four and the Eminem show holding on at number 10 outstreaming big recent releases like Kendrick's Mr. Morale and Future's I Never Liked You. Impressive for 2002 album. Moving on, thanks to the recent interview with Paul, we got to know about Dre's reaction when things got heated in late 2017 due to revival. They both knew what had to be done. Yeah, I remember we had the, this conversation with Dre when revival first came out. We was in, he was in Cali and we had this conversation. I think you were there for it. Dre was like, Yo, I don't like how people are talking about this album. Right. <laughs> I was like, me neither. He's like, yo, let's go in and just make some shit. And he was like, but you gotta talk that shit again. And I was like, oh, I know. <laughs> like, I already knew what I had to do, you know? Right. But um, it didn't take much prodding to get you there. And boy, what a reminder that was. Some fans today slip on kamikaze, but the fact is, just like recovery, it was an essential moment in Eminem's career. I mean, too many people in the industry were emboldened to talk-ish about Eminem due to Revival's reception, and after Kamikaze and MGK's pro bono services, some of them claimed early retirement from rapping, while some others visited Royce at Heaven Studios or joined his IG lives to iron things out. But more was said by Eminem, and we have receipts to prove Eminem's statement. It's not just coming from a place of hurt feelings. Sometimes you feel like, you know, like, like, if you if you miss a scene out of a movie or something like you're gonna think the rest of the the movie is trash because you missed if you missed one of the most important scenes sure. and i feel like one of the things that really really i felt like made me salty about that whole it was that i honestly honestly felt like castle and a rose were probably two of the best songs i've written right and you know how I'm super hypercritical on myself and all that shit, but like, I felt like, man, I just dumped my fucking heart out and people are literally just calling this trash. And it right. does something and to you. those were the last two songs on the project. So yeah. people might have literally not got to them. Right. And it made me feel like that kid again, like I'm, I'm running to show my mom this picture I colored and she's like, oh, you colored outside the lines. Like that kind of shit. I felt like, okay. Y'all must have missed some of these scenes to this movie. And I guarantee you that at least half of those people did not listen to the whole thing. Guarantee it. Certainly possible. Certainly, Certainly. probable. And, so, and they could have been they could have been some of the most vocal about it too. Yep. Which is just obviously not fair, right? Yeah. But it's just the world it's the world we live in. Now I remember years back, even some big hip hop pages on Twitter exposed themselves when they revealed that they didn't actually listen to Revival in full. Some even switched up after their initial reactions to join the hate bandwagon. An example is a rap page that's got over 100,000 followers right now, loved Revival at first and then switched up to join the mob. And just to get Eminem's point across, here are a few examples of what he's talking about. Check this out. I listened to the first three tracks on Revival and shut my phone off. It was so bad, I don't remember the last time I shut my phone off while listening to an album. Man, the thing is, joining a hate bandwagon is a great opportunity to go viral on social media, and the more extreme the take is, the better the chances to go viral. Another example, I've never listened to Revival because everyone kept saying it was trash, and I didn't want to ruin my memory of Slim Shady. So, after Kamikaze, I listened to the album. Joe Budden said Eminem said nothing for the entire decade. He said a lot on that album alone. Content, dude. In quotes, poisoning the water is a real thing. When it comes to how people form opinions, it happens to the best of us. Check out this example. I listened to Revival several times before looking at social media. I was happy with it, still mostly am, because after seeing the tracklist, it's the direction I expected. I'm pretty resilient to haters, but I think I'd like it more right now if I never heard people. 
Now, this is not to say Revival is a great album, that's not Eminem's point. Sometimes with certain music critics, people who write it about shit. They have the same sort of predisposed idea? Yeah. Or they influence And people's they don't want to be wrong. They don't want to be wrong about some shit. Right. And there are, there, there are a few songs on the album that I do wish I could have back. Like there's, okay. I don't know which ones I can't think of offhand, but like there's a no couple backsies. of them that weren't, that weren't, you know, great. But then I feel like, I don't know. There's no backsies. But we have a slew of evidence that shows many who joined the hate campaign were just joining the bandwagon for clout. Some didn't even listen to the album. We have proof of this. It's a fact. Moving on, 50 Cent got caught up in a bit of drama when a plastic surgeon seemingly used his photo to promote an interesting procedure. One post states, Thank you 50 Cent for stopping by the number one med spa and this reportedly kicked things off and sparked promotional reports that used 50's photo with the headline, Knob enhancements are more popular than ever and BBLs are dying out. And check this out, 50 sues med spa for using photo implying he had knob enhancement treatment and 50 cent reacts every now and then i get a fool like this shake my head shrugs emoji what a way to put yourself out of business eyes emoji i'ma need that by monday that will be all for now share your thoughts below thanks for watching like and subscribe if you enjoy content like this and see you on the next one